Hello, fellow druids. Welcome to another episode of our full circle here. Uh, hopefully, I didn't get cut off there. Sorry, YouTube is doing something weird. Uh, so, in this in this video, what I want to discuss is the concept, and I sort of want to debunk is the concept of uh, blank being worth its points. Uh, since I have started playing this game, I have heard this phrase that. Blank isn't going to make its points back. Um, and there are, this is a difficult subject. Personally, I think the phrase is not valuable. It does not, it, it's used kind of, in my opinion, as an excuse to say that something's bad or that it doesn't fit in the list or that you think it should do more melee work, things like that. And, um, this topic occurred to me as I was talking about my wolf riders in, a pre in another video that I'll be posting, uh, probably before this one, where a lot of people say like, well, they're 18 points, they don't do enough. And I was th I was talking about um, them being able to take out a Kador Heavy. And at 18 points, you know, Juggernaut's probably going to be 13 after their CID goes through, uh, which will be a couple months still. Um, so the Juggernaut's probably going to be 13 points. Unit of Wolf Riders is 18 points. And if you give them a buff, they can take out an unbuffed Juggernaut. And some people are going to be like, well, that means they're too expensive. No, it doesn't. Um, stuff being worth its points is not really a valid... I don't know if valid is what I want to say, but it's not really a useful way to look at the situation. So Wolf Riders, in my opinion, are worth their points, if you will, because they're very flexible. I can use them even though the points aren't really there to take out that Kator Heavy. Or I can use them to take out um, infantry models at range, or I can charge them into infantry models and they can get impacts and whatnot. You see how these things are evolving. So the the notion of like, is it worth its points or not, to me, and it's my video, so I guess my opinion gets to be valid here. Um, for some reason we're very out of focus suddenly. All right, well, we're gonna go with it. Uh, to me, Being worth its points is just not. Don't don't get hung up on that. Now, I also think let me let me devil's advocate my own point. That doesn't mean just put things in your list that can't do work. That that is never going to be what that means. If you build a list seventy uh, you know seventy five point list, which is usually around a hundred points or so, and you put in. I don't really have a good example for this, but if you put in 50 points that is essentially supporting, say, like your 50 point battle group, that battle group is going to have to do some heavy lifting for you. And you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to make sure that you're basically not losing any of your battle group. Um, that's the sort of thing that is bad. So in that case, things being worth it, their points or not, I don't know. You don't want to have support bloat either. Maybe we'll do a, a total another video on that. But back in the point, um, things being worth their points or not depends a lot, right? So uh, you being able to kill equal to your points doesn't really isn't really that important, right? So let me use my wolf rider example again. Let's say I use five five wolf riders to kill one juggernaut. I've, I've now used 18 points to kill 13. And you're like, well, you've traded down because there's five points more. Maybe. Is another wolf, uh, sorry, is another juggernaut, let's say they have two, is another juggernaut going to be able to just walk right into where I killed that one and kill five wolf riders? Probably not because they have reposition. There's five bodies. Even if it, um, their defense 14, it's only Matt seven. So let's say you load it up with focus, which is by itself an expenditure of, of resources, right? Well, I put a buff on mine, but you're, you're putting three focus, say on a, um, another juggernaut. It's Matt seven. It theoretically can make five attacks. It theoretically could kill all five, but it's going to have to hit five unboosted sevens. Could do, it could happen. Uh, you could do it. Um, that's assuming I didn't spread them out at all. Of course. Um, which I'm going to in this case, um, but but yeah. So so like, is that really a trade? I don't think so because I'm going to back them up. Maybe I lose two, 
charge the next Juggernaut with three, that's going to um, soften it up. Maybe put like a, in my list, that would be a Scarsfell Griffin on it. Take it out. Worth their points didn't really come into, didn't really come into it there, right? Um, even if something dies, right? So a lot of times uh, I will um, have a solo that is five points and I will just put it in a position to be a sponge, to be in the way, and it may die. Was it worth its five points? Uh, no, it probably was worth the whatever the least number of points that it could be, but <clears throat> the fact is that that play was still valuable. And if that piece, and I sort of talked about, you know, knowing what pieces to keep alive in a different video, so uh, go back and watch that. But the piece did something, it, it's, and it probably enabled other parts of my list to get an advantage. Um, and the other, another, another side piece of this is also when, uh, when you're evaluating, is it worth its points? What you should also be evaluating is what does my list need? So I've actually advocated a couple times and I haven't tested this. I may, you know, I may go back on this if, and not like it once I test it, but I've advocated a few times that you may want to put winter Argus's into a Chrome one list, um, or, uh, Una one into a Chrome one list. And a lot of people don't really love Una one. A lot of people don't like winter Argus's and you're like, but Chad, why would you do that? They're both really bad. That doesn't do anything. Chromac One really likes to have ranged attacks to trigger uh, Warpath. It's it's incredibly key to what he does. Being able to utilize Warpath is incredibly key. And you need to kill the models with a ranged attack. And one thing that the Winter Argus has, and granted, I think there's some tweaks that that model does need that that model should receive. But one of the things that it does do is make a range attack, speed six, range six. So it's not a long range by any means, but has the ability, uh, and at rat four, not great, but sprays do ignore a lot of buffs. Additionally, it does have the ability to boost. So you can somewhat reliably hit defense 13, defense 14 with a boost. You have two tries at it. Anything you kill under the thing is, is going to be um, able to trigger uh, a warpath. Uh, mind you, I believe it only triggers one. That's one thing. Uh, sprays will only trigger a single warpath because it says killed by the ranged attack or something like that. But you can potentially trigger two with them. Um, also, it's in Call of the Wild. So that's that's sort of the caveat, right? That I think you should play Chromac 1 in Call of the Wild. If you do that, you're going to need some ranged attacks to help you with trigger. You may need some ranged attacks to help you trigger warpath. That's kind of your option. So while the Winter Argus is not something I would typically recommend in many lists, in that list, I absolutely recommend it because, pardon me, because it does something Chromac wants. I, I may recommend it in some other places too if you really need to worry about being immune to cold for some reason or you can position interestingly enough to make the, the Winter Coat Animus work. So these are things to keep in mind flexible units are going to frequently look like they're not worth their points whenever they're in a matchup because you're paying for flexibility. Um, so don't think about it that way. Think about what you're able to continue to do with these things. Uh, sometimes things are going to look like just bad choices, but if they're the right thing the list needs, don't worry about like, well, did that winter Argus make up its eight points of work, right? Did it kill eight points of infantry or did it kill another eight point light? Who cares if what it does is kills a couple infantry and enables your your 19 point stalker to just eat 32 points on his own. Um, so that's the discussion we're having. Anyways, that, I'm gonna try to keep this short. Try to focus less on something being worth its points and more on the entire list having the correct play. Uh, and also validate this stuff on the table, right? So like I said, in some of these cases, some of these things may look like, well, I'm not sure if that's going to work. Well, give it a game or two and see how it feels. Um, try your best to stay out. And I, I'm actually really bad at this. I've, I've been having this trouble lately. Try to stay out of your own head on like, you know, say you lose two games with something. Um, even if it's to people you don't normally um, find yourself losing to. Say you lose two games. 
that doesn't necessarily mean, you know what I mean? You may need to play it a little bit more, or maybe you're just like, well, I tried it. I, you know, I, I'm going to go on to something else and that's fine too. Um, just realize that it doesn't necessarily mean that the piece is the wrong piece for your list. So, uh, as always, if you like my content, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share it on social media, uh, feel free to join in on the conversation on discord, um, the links and, or, and the Facebook group, the, the links in the chat. Uh, you find me as cheddar caveman at, uh, twi on Twitter or really, pretty much everywhere so you can shoot me messages there as well and as always thanks for 